Here's the full story of Tekken's Lars Alexanderson. In Tekken 6, Jin Kazama, under Mishima Zaibatsu, started a world war, with his main opposition being the G Corporation, led by Kazuya. During this, many Tekken 4 soldiers began a coup against the Mishima Zaibatsu, with the initiator being one Lars Alexanderson. Lars is a former Tekken Force officer who joined the military at a very young age. He is the illegitimate son of Heihachi Mishima, a fact that even Heihachi is not aware of. The soldier was quite popular during his time serving Mishima Zaibatsu, as he, despite his high rank, would often fight on the front lines. During the overthrow, Lars formed a private military company called Yggdrasil, with the help of a private investor, which later turned out to be Li Chaolan, who also happens to be Heihachi's adopted son. The person who ended up filling Lars's spot in the Tekken force was the one and only Eddie Gordo, who needed the money to fund his mentor's medical bills. During a mission, Lars found a sleeping cyborg, Elisa Boskanovich, a robot version of Dr. Boskanovich's late daughter that the scientist himself created. While the operation was being conducted, G Corporation attacked and killed almost everyone at the scene. While Lars Alexanderson survived, he unfortunately suffered amnesia and alongside Elisa, decided to explore his origin. Soon enough, Lars met his lieutenant, Tugu, and after a little while, Lars started to regain his memories, remembering the fact that he's Heihachi Mishima's son. The former head of Tekken Force paid Heihachi a visit, with the sole purpose of ending him, but he changed his mind at the spot. His father suggested they work together to defeat Jin, but Lars declined. Kazuya heard of Lars's deeds and sends the G Corporation army to defeat him, while Lars and Elisa escape. Tugu unfortunately falls victim to Kazuya's forces, and Lars vows to avenge him. After Lars and Elisa confronted Jin, Jin rebooted Elisa's memory, revealing that the cyborg was built for the sole purpose of protecting the Mishima Zaibatsu leader. Lars managed to defeat his former robot partner, and with the help of Raven, headed to the desert to chase after Jin. After meeting Kazuya and him learning that he's Lars's half-brother, the main protagonist fought Azazel, a recently awakened ancient demon who soon self-destructed. Outside, the duo were met with Jin, who once again programmed Elisa to protect him. After defeating the cyborg, Elisa reverted to her old self and expired. Jin revealed that Azazel needs to be defeated by someone who possesses the devil gene, and hence, he sacrificed himself to end the ancient demon. Lars receives a call offering him a new mission, but the details are unknown. In Tekken 7, Lars was driving in the Middle East when he heard of Heihachi Mishima's announcement of the 7th King of Iron Fist Tournament. Lars found Jin Kazama in the nearby bazaar, protecting him from the UN soldiers, and brought him to Lee's Violet Systems facility, where he also reunited with newly repaired Elisa. Lee introduced Lars to a journalist that was investigating the Mishima family. After finding out that the journalist wanted to kill Jin, since the man's family was killed due to a war started by Jin, Lars stopped him, as he believed that Jin Kazama was the key to ending the conflict. Kazuya killed his father Heihachi and ensued chaos on the world. Standing over the city in flames, Lars tells Jin that it's now up to him to put an end to this never-ending conflict. In Tekken 8, while the world is under G Corporation's influence, Lars has formed an alliance with Jin Kazama and is preparing for Operation Lightning, a mission to take down Kazuya and restore world peace. This battle will be 